Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. Today we're in the Shamshi region doing a horse trek with Kyrgyz guided tour. A big thank you to them for being the provider of this experience. Let's get into it. Dobro to everybody. I have been trying to brush up on my Russian phrases, so please do feel free to laugh at me. We are just outside our hostel now, waiting to be picked up. The time now is about half past eight in the morning. We're very excited, aren't we? We're... It's our first time going to see some of the nature in Kyrgyzstan, and we are excited. We're buzzing. We're absolutely buzzing. This is one of the experiences that we were most, most excited to do. So we're going to have a fantastic time. This morning, we're gonna be on our way to the Shamshi Gorge. We're actually gonna be stopping off at a tower as well on the way to break up the journey. It's gonna be a good day. Let's go. Oh, look at this car, guys. This is cute. <laughs> Better than the cars we've had previously. This is massive. We have just come down to the Burma Tower and the drive here has been beautiful. So far I have seen like green, beautiful, blue sky and mountains, snow capped mountains. Honestly, I just can't believe how beautiful this country is. And we're only like one hour outside of the capital. If you know me, I'm really bad for this and <laughs> Bob's just told me that I mispronounced the tower so it's called the Barama. So this tower was built in the 9th century so it's incredibly old. You can actually walk all the way to the top so if you know us you know that's something we've got to do. It looks like you walk on some outside steps before you get in through here and then we've been told it's very narrow and a bit claustrophobic there but it's a good job Eve small. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> I might struggle a bit more than it, but let's give it a go. Right, let's go. Ooh. Careful of this bit, Bob. Oh, God. Oh, my God, I actually can't see. <laughs> it's pitch black in here, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, this is steep. Um, oh, God, yeah. I legit can't see. <laughs> <laughs> this is so steep. There's literally a wall. Either side of me, it's so narrow. <laughs> I'm, like cr I'm crawling up here like a dog. I can't even my uh, hands and knees. <laughs> this is not what I expected to be doing today. I can't believe we've got to come down this way as well. Yeah. <laughs> coming down, like, considering I'm on my hands and knees going up, coming down, this is going to be so steep. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this is definitely the easy bit. Hey. How are you doing? Hi. Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> pretty stunning huh yeah. yeah this is incredible okay guys so we've made it to the top it's about 25 meters off the ground and the view is just incredible you can see some farmers down in the field with their sheep cows horses sheep dogs everything it's just so picturesque here and you have a full 360 view of the whole surroundings. What a perfect place to stop on your way to Shamshi. Oh, there's another little person. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I think the hard part is gonna be going back down. Yeah. <laughs> Just to show you guys how narrow this is. <laughs> this is literally the width of my shoulders and the steps are here. So you are literally like, it's like walking up a ladder. It's like walking up a narrow ladder. Yeah, but... a ladder, that, that kind of width. Some people have gone down before us, so they're going to pave the way for us, so <laughs> let's get back down. <laughs> Wish us luck! Alright, just about managed that. <laughs> oh wow, 
<laughs> Wasn't expecting this many people to be waiting. Holding everyone up here. <laughs> to go up. Oh wow, it's got busy here. I've never seen anything like this before. These are all gravestones. They're nomadic gravestones from the 6th century, so long ago. And they used to put people's faces on them. Completely different from anything we'd ever experienced back in the UK or anything we've actually experienced around Asia so far. But there is loads of them planted here just at the base of the tower. This has been a great stop for the next thing back on the road and we're off to see the horses. going out round the landscape round here for about two and a half hours. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be good fun. This is my one. This one's yeah. Bob's horse. So I have actually ridden a horse before. The one thing I have not done is vlogged myself riding a horse, <laughs> let alone in Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> but we're on. We're ready to go. Got our valiant steeds here. <laughs> Let's go. Bob's at the back. Bless him. So one thing you don't get in Kyrgyzstan that you definitely do get at home is a riding hat. That's not a thing here. So I am free. And although it feels actually really nice. Have we finally got Bob? Yay, he's coming. Oh my God, look, baby girls, cubs. So this is our guide in front. He knows what he's doing, me and Bob, not so much. We've been told that you can say chew, which is like go. I also know from horse riding, you can use your legs to kick on a bit to get them going. I think Bob's struggling a bit, but we've got two and a half hours of this and we've only just started. So we've got a lot of time to learn and get prepared. And honestly, we've hardly left where we were and the landscape is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. I have never ridden a horse in a place as beautiful as this. This is absolutely crazy. Got some kids here selling flowers. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Bob got some flowers. Don't know what he's going to be doing with them for the next two and a half hours. We are entering a foresty area here. Bob is just about catching up now. Oh God, I'm in a... <laughs> Christ! <laughs> oh God, I almost got my leg chopped off from a bush. I think my horse knows where it's going. Oh, oh, again in the bush. Wow. This is a really incredible... At home we would call this a hat, where you're going out of the area. Oh my god, I'm in the bush again. There he is! How are you finding it so far, Bobby? This is beautiful. What an experience. This is so amazing here. Like, look where we are. You are getting these horses going is. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I just need to get my phone. Oh, you dropped your phone? Yeah. Excuse me. One minute. <laughs> he dropped his phone. First disaster of this experience. Bob dropped his phone. God knows where. Luckily, a guy who's pretty skilled on a horse and he's going to just get that for us, hopefully. This is exactly one of the reasons we wanted to visit Kyrgyzstan and it has not disappointed. This is absolutely stunning. I just don't see how you can get more out in nature than this. There is nobody around with us and it's just so quiet. It is gorgeous. We have got some, some stuff to try. I don't quite know what it is. So our guide has just pulled over and grabbed us a plant of interest and <laughs> Do you say you used to have this when you were a kid? We could uh, try this one. <laughs> so it's to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mmm. It has the texture and consistency of like celery, 
but it's almost a little bit almost a little bit sour like a little bit tart as if you've had a fruit that's not quite ripe but it's really it's really juicy it's got a lot of like the water inside it's interesting i don't know what the name of it was called but i can tell you if you're out in the sun that is very hydrating this is so beautiful <laughs> You are just surrounded by the most gorgeous nature here, literally as far as you can see. And oh, this is just the best activity to really get out. The air is so fresh here. The, the weather is so nice. This weather is perfect. I agree. The air is really fresh. I've been trying so hard to mix up the order and get in front of Eve and she just overtakes me again. <laughs> Don't make it so easy and I wouldn't do it. <laughs> most chill experience at the moment we're relatively flat so it's more chill there's no bushes around so my horse doesn't keep going into bushes and I'm just having such a lovely time going through the, the forest and the mountains look at this this is wonderful honestly this is the horse trekking is one of the things I was most excited for in Kyrgyzstan and so far it's been a big success. This has been an absolutely incredible experience for one of the first things that we've done here in Kyrgyzstan. It's just opened up our expectations of the country so well. It's made me so excited to explore all the other places that we have on our plan to explore when we're here. Yeah, me and Eve have about three weeks here in total and it's a bit of a whistle stop tour. We want to go basically everywhere in that time. And we've got some incredible things planned, some really, really exciting things that we're hoping to get done in our time here. And this has just made us even more excited than we already were. This experience has just been perfect. I tell you what, my horse did not like coming uphill, but going down, he loves it. He's, he's rapid, he keeps trying to overtake Eve. I'm trying to get at the back. And he's not having it. Mine's the opposite. <laughs> That's one thing you do have to be careful of, the low hanging trees. It just adds to the fun of this, I guess. Hey, <laughs> professional. I love this, you're in the middle of nowhere. You tie up your horses onto your fence, grab some food and then carry on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So our guide has just told us how to say horse in Kyrg. At. 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 There you go. So this one is my at. <laughs> <laughs> you did that very well, Eve. Can I give you this? I'm going to go over. Oh, he's going over. Yeah. Ooh, he's going over. <laughs> right. Got a couple of spiky bits. Yeah. Ah, oh, right. Off for lunch. Let's grab some food. You know all this dish? Like uh, homemade. My mom, she did it. Oh, homemade? Oh, yeah. wow. This is Jim. Oh, nice. Okay. All homemade. We love that. Look. Oh. <laughs> Just brought the horses back home. They've been really good today. How did you feel when your horse started galloping? In control. <laughs> There's no better place to be doing that. Bye. Just saying bye to my horse. <laughs> you are so good. Thanks for taking me on a nice ride. <laughs> well, guys, that has been an absolutely unforgettable experience with these horses. We have had the absolute best time. We have had so much fun. This has been such like, this is like a bucket list experience. It's been like a horse trek in Kyrgyzstan. Oh, it's been wonderful. A big thank you to Kirk's Guided Tours for providing this experience. It's been amazing. <laughs> They're the puppies behind us. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>